Hello and welcome. This is my 2019 Mongoose Dolomite. I paid $279 for it and I've probably got another $150 into it. And I'm just having a ridiculously huge amount of fun with this bike. Um, now, what I have done, I've upgraded the cockpit and the pedals and the drivetrain from a 1x7 to a 1x8 with a 34 tooth climbing gear. And those changes are all documented in the playlist linked at the end of this video. In my previous video, I said that there was going to be a big upgrade coming this week for the Dolomite, and that is true. I'm going to install some hydraulic brakes on it. Now, this is not, by any stretch of the imagination, a high-end kit that we're going to be looking at today. It's a zoom kit. It's one of those ones that's pre-bled and pre-configured. One thing that is kind of odd about this kit is it seems to have been configured for a British customer. That is to say, the handles are swapped left to right from what I'm used to as an American. That is to say, the front is usually on the left and the rear is on the right, but these are pre-configured the other way around. Now, this is not going to be an exhaustive test. I am not that kind of an engineer. What I'm going to do is show you how these go on and then I'm going to do a before and after stopping test. My highly unscientific method is I picked a set starting point on my street and I pedaled for 10 complete revolutions on the drive side and then coasted to a flag that I set in the ditch. Once I hit that flag, I hit the brakes as hard as I could, and then I measured the distance between the flag and the stopping point to the center of the front wheel. Again, not very scientific, but since I don't have a speedometer or a GPS, it'll have to do. And honestly, this is a $35 kit. I'm not expecting much of it, and that's why I'm retaining the mechanical system in case I have to revert to it. But I figure for 35 bucks, it would be fun to try it. And if it actually exceeds my expectations, I will get a bleed kit. And then it's really not going to be much of a job to swap the cables, excuse me, the hoses left to right to get it back into the American idiom. With all that said, Sit back with the beverage of your choice and uh, watch the installation and the <clears throat> scientific test. This is the kit as delivered. Levers with reservoirs, calipers with mounting brackets, and the hoses all filled and pre-bled.
I will freely admit that I am blown away by these hydraulic brakes. Honestly, for $35, I had very, very low expectations. Honestly, I did this, you know, just as a way to kill some time and to, uh, you know, to have a laugh. I didn't think that these Zoom hydraulic brakes were going to be any good. But son of a gun, the, uh, the average of three runs, I ended up with a, a uh, slightly greater than 14 foot reduction in stopping. I went from an average of 25 feet one inch down to 10 feet 10 inches. I mean, goodness sakes, for 35 bucks. As I said at the beginning, it is a little odd with the left and right, front and rear flip-flop arrangement. I can get used to that, I guess, or I can get the necessary tools, and I definitely am going to have to get a bleed kit and just swap the hoses left to right. I mean, that should not be that big a deal, I wouldn't think. But I will be checking YouTube for some instructional videos. <laughs> Oh my goodness, 14-foot uh, reduction in stopping. That, that's just amazing. Blows me away. So, anyway, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. It does help the channel. If you have not subscribed, please do so. And below left is a link to the playlist for Emir, my Dolomite. And below right is a link to another video that I think you'll enjoy. As always, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it when you do. Bye.